our champion Craig Jones on the right there. Of course, he's beaten the likes of Jake Shields, and Mateus Lutis, and Peter Cornelius on Polaris. We welcome Davi Ramos representing Atos Jiu Jitsu to Polaris for the first time. He's about four years older than Craig Jones, but uh, I don't think that's going to matter all that much. Let's head down for the last time tonight to our MC, Mr. Bidet Johnson, for our introductions. From the Southampton Central Hall, live on UFC Fight Pass and sponsored by Made for Fighters, Polaris 17, now set for a no gi title contest for over 10 minutes at 83.9 kilograms. This is your main event of the evening. We introduce first the challenger at six feet one inches tall and representing Atos Jiu Jitsu, fighting out of Brazil, David. Ramos! And now his opponent, your champion, standing six feet one inches tall and representing B Team Fighting. Out of Australia, your defending champion, Craig Jones! When the action begins, your referee charge, Craig Krill. Your referee for this one is Greg Creel, Mexican ground karate rash guard. Had to point that out for Craig Jones. And uh, Davy Ramos in the black sleeveless. Immediately Jones looks to do what he does, which is pull guard, go underneath and uh, invert all the way across onto that far leg. Davy Ramos trying to get very tight on the upper body. Yeah, I thought Craig was going to come out and wrestle for a few moments. Mm. <laughs> I'm sure that was what he, he was made, saying. He made a lot of fuss in the prologue about improving his wrestling, but... Uh, don't let that fool you. We know what his A game is. Yeah, but I think at the same time, it's something nice to have in the back pocket in case this match isn't going the way that he wants it to go. Um, you, know, <coughs> you know, to have that strong B game so if the A game isn't working, he can switch to it. Because one thing that we've seen from Craig in the past when he hasn't been so focused on the wrestling is sometimes getting shut down a little bit, you know, attacking right. off of his back. You know, we saw it in the Matthias Lourdes fight, in the uh, Palhares fight. You know, th th these are times where his leg lock game off of his back isn't working and it ends up being a bit of a, a stalemate. Right, and if there's someone who knows how to play that very disengaging yeah. wrestly type game, it's Davi Ramos. Of course, you know, he had a couple of good submissions in his run at ADCC 2015, but I think also a couple of decisions as well. Of course, Craig Jones in his corner, in case you haven't seen a corner camera yet, has got Mo Jassim, the head organizer of last year, uh, ADCC from a couple of years ago, and of course next year's ADCC tournament as well. So he's really got the inside track on making sure he understands that rule set and how that disengaging style of game could potentially work here. Yeah, and also at the same time, I think if anyone in the world has a similar physique to uh, Ruzimir Palharis, then it's going to be Davi it's Ramos, Davi you know, right, so very much. This, this might seem uh, quite familiar to Craig. Yeah, I mean, you know, I commentated that match uh, with Craig versus Tiquinho, and, and it, was, uh, it was a frustrating bout for, for Craig Jones, you know, and that is where he has come potentially unstuck, the likes of Mateus Diniz. Yeah. It's another person who was able to shut the leg locks down enough and then do enough to beat him under whatever the given rule set is. So, yeah, it'll be very interesting to see, you know, th this, is, this is what we thought might happen. This is exactly what happened in the Tokinia match. Inside of the guard position, you know, just, just playing defensively Strip on top. Reps, yeah. Absolutely. And, and this could go on for 10 minutes. And it would just be interesting to see that if it is looking that way, and I'm not saying it will, you know, a nice attempt on a leg here by Craig. Yeah, he's but got if a big it, scoop grip, trying to free that inside knee. You can see he's trying to drop it down inside. There we there go. We go. Ramos, please. You know, so, so I'm just thinking, if this is a pattern that we get into, will we see Craig stand up and look to try and engage in the wrestling, maybe try and get to a top position and really change the game a little bit? Yeah, he may try to wrestle up off the bottom if, uh, if Davi runs away like that. It's a good opportunity to do it. Yeah, again, Jones playing on this left side hip. They're going to fight uh, wrist control on the far side as well. Ramos is just going to stay so low to the ground. He doesn't want to give any height up at all to allow Jones to potentially get underneath him. And that's one of those things with, with Jones and his levers. You know, he's so long that if he manages to start elevating you, you can be 10 feet up in the mm. air before you work out what's going on. Oh, yeah. A little dummy sweep there. 
Yeah, it looks like Davies maybe trying to force Craig to play on the opposite side, and Craig's just not letting him do that. You know, one thing that I've always noticed with Craig is that, you know, he, he will not, he'll not play to any of his weaknesses, regardless of how the match goes. He will always look to play to his strengths. You know, he's a very, you know, everyone jokes, he's always in second place. You know, he's never quite there, with, you know, winning the first place. But with that said, he is one of the most seasoned competitors. He knows how to win. Maybe he doesn't quite make it to that gold medal at ADCC, but he knows how to win matches. So he's always playing to his strengths. Yeah, I mean, there we saw him actually looking at coming up with that single leg as Davi tried to flee, which we mentioned a little while ago. Yeah, I think that's absolutely what he should do. I mean, at the end of the day, he can always bail on it if he, if he really decides it's going south on him. But, uh, you know, he, he clearly can't rely on, on necessarily getting uh, the bite on the legs every time here. You, you know, and the same thing that we need to talk about, I can't remember exactly your note because you commented it, but in that Torquino match, was it a draw if there was no submission? No. Uh, I want to say no, but uh, you truthfully you put me on the spot. I can't remember that. I don't think it was. No. I, I'm not exactly sure, but you know, we, we have I think to. He won, he won a decision, but it was not entertaining. You know, this 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 could be what we see here. I know that Craig wants the submission here. I know that people want to see Craig do what he does best, yeah, get on those legs. You need the other person to, win, to engage. But, you know, you know, it's not going to be a draw. He, you know, Davi's not going to be able to stall, potentially stall out for a draw. You know, if it does go the way, and, and if it does continue to go the way it's gone so far, then Craig will be winning the decision. Now, of course, as this goes longer, how slippery are those legs going to be? Yeah. You know, the sweat's going to accumulate. It's just going to get harder and harder. It's the second time he's managed to off-balance Ramos a little bit though. And this is nice. This is this is us starting to see the evolution of Craig's game, you know, with that wrestling training that he's been doing a lot more of and um, you know, training every day with 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 Nicky Rodriguez. You know, it seems like all of the videos he's putting out at the moment are, are, are scrambles in wrestling and stand up. A little bit cut on the nose there that the referee's having a yeah, little look at. It's on the bridge of the nose, I think. It's not Oh, there we go. Oh, oh. Oh. <laughs> It was something. It was a hand. I'm not sure if it was helping. <laughs> you know, so we're seeing Craig once again try and get on that far side leg. Yeah, he's trying to lock up that shoulder as well. He uses those two tacks very well together. But Davi already looks super slippery. Yeah, he really does. And he stays so low, he gets that straight arm in. And Oh, there we go. There's a... Oh. You know, but th this just goes to show, I think, the difference in style of grappling when you've been training for an MMA fight. Because when you're training for MMA, even if you're not training with strikes, you're going to have oh. that aggressiveness. Wow, nice work by Davi in attempting. Jones looks to scramble up. And you see Davi just kicking him away, which yeah. is, again, the scrambling from yeah. uh, MMA coming 100%. into play. They're basically going to have to restart in either a standing or an open guard position. In which but case, Davi, you guarantee yeah. Ramos is going to frame and stand up. 100%. Ra you know, they're going to end up both standing, and we'll be interested to see whether Craig decides to go back to the ground or, or to stand up. You know, for those who don't know uh, or, yeah, or haven't been following grappling for a huge amount of time. That's how Craig wants yeah. hands on him immediately. Yeah. Yeah, and, 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 and Davi wants to push him away. Framing on his knees, you know, just to make sure he right. can't get close he's to like, him. He's like, I am framed. I am. Oh, there you go. He's, he's saying you've got to go from a. See, seated is very different to being lying down yes, on your back. Yes, hundred percent. Seated, you're going to immediately technical lift and back up. You know, uh, Craig's trying to get those arms yeah. nice and deep in the legs. He, he's Once going to lift hits. those legs up and he's going to force that back to the ground. And I. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's an old school tactic yeah. as well. Can't agree on the start. You know, it, it, it's a tricky situation, you know, what do you do here? It's, it's a grey area, did one guy stop slightly before the other when they went off the mat? You know, what is yeah. the perfect position? You know, how can you measure how deep the hands were underneath the leg when you're restarting? Yeah. It's a tricky thing to do, you know, and... Davi Ramos is not happy about this. He's, gonna, he's trying to explain to the referee saying what's happening. when he went down, he, he wasn't on flat shoulders. I would love to see a replay here and settle it. Can we just get on to, yeah. to the mat side and throw it up? I mean, if, it's, if it's that critical, let's let's throw yeah. a monitor up and have have the referee look at it. Chance of sit down from the audience here. Here, here we go. go. Here we go. Look. So flat on his back, flat on his back, flat on his back. There was no, yeah. there was no flat control. On the back. But but there was no control of the leg. Right. That's key. So Craig's just pointed up to the monitor and said he was flat on his back. I just made it elevate my voice slightly there. And Craig's now just saying, let's get on with it. Here goes the replay again. 
Well, we're, we're starting live it, action, so Craig Jones has just said, you know what, enough stopping, let's get yeah. on with it. But that is going to colour whatever outcome. I think Craig's just going to start going Craig's after going, it a yeah. lot more I'm, now. I'm, 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 I'm just, just quite frankly, excuse my language, we're pissed off right now. It's almost like uh, Marcelo yeah. and, uh, and Rico Rodriguez, right. you know, just yeah. where he just turns it on all of a yeah. sudden. So, you know, Craig, Craig, Craig's always a pretty light-hearted guy, and he's always joking around. He never seems too intense. But this is some of you can just tell by the body language and the position right. here. He, he's a little bit pissed off with yeah, this, and he, he really wants the he's submission been more now. Aggressive. He's, you know, he's got a, a much more aggressive yeah. body positioning in his framing now. But likewise, Ramos is framing on the throat, uh, you know, very obviously. And That's a good frame, involved. though. That's oh, a good way to stop person can't, getting underneath. Can't, can't really I have to say, you know, I was talking about and then all that madness happens, but that jumping over the uh, guard that, that Ramos tried to do earlier that kind of initiated that whole scramble, that is, for those who don't know or haven't followed Davi's... Uh, uh, ADCC career, that is how he won the title with this insanely, just one of the finest submissions yeah. in all of ADCC history as he jumped over the guard I, I and sunk in what, an armbar. What made it better, if I remember, is all of the, the finals matches before that had gone to overtime. Yeah, and yeah. Davi Ramos comes out in like two minutes yeah. and just throws a flying armbar so, over a seated guard. It's pretty cool to see him go for that, but I can pretty much guarantee you he won't go for that again. And the trouble that it got him and the potential bad position it got him, I think that that's... You know, we're going to see, uh, but perhaps see Davi a little bit more cagey in these last two minutes. But, y you know, you've got to expect Craig's up on points, you know, significantly up on points right now. Davi's got to try and you, push you the would action. Think so, yeah. right? You would think. Yeah, I mean, Craig's doing everything, really. Davi's just trying to hug him and shut him down. He's not making any forward progress. Yeah, I mean, he hasn't, uh, he hasn't got past, really got, got past the guard or forced any late stage defense at any point yet. And Jones has just uh, continually pushed forward on this left hip. You know, the scoop under this far leg. This is just something that we've seen ha happen with Craig so much because he goes against high level guys who are powerful, who are stocky, and they just respect his leg lock game. You know, for lack of a better word, they are so worried about that leg lock game of Craig that they will not get in deep enough they will not allow themselves to get even within range really of uh, having those legs attacked and you end up with these matches where y you know not much happens craig's on his back he's looking for the leg locks the whole time and the person on top just really isn't giving anything up uh, and, and you know this, yeah, this is what I we're mean, here regardless davi's gonna probably lose this match Based you know on, yeah, oh yeah. he's not that. doing anything it's uh you may as well try and do something yeah i mean it, it's jones looking to execute techniques at this point and you know intention is a big part of Understanding the rule set here at Polaris, as it is in actually a lot of rule sets, is it, you know, your, your intent to progress the position, your intent to execute the submission. Yeah. You know, but the other question we have to ask is, is Davi going to be happy with, uh, with, with taking Craig to a decision? You know, he, he, he no, came no, in as a significant uh, underdog in this match. Because the style that he's grappling, you know, with the exception of jumping over, trying to jump over and go for a signature armbar, the style that he's grappling looks like he's quite happy to... Uh, potentially survive yeah. and not to submit yeah, like that. He's, he's looking not to lose yeah. rather than Playing to win. right at the edge of the mat as well here. You know, it's, it's a very easy get out to you know, flee to two corners of the mat right now, or two sides of the mat. 13 seconds left here at Polaris 17. Final action of the night, Davi Ramos versus Craig Jones for the middleweight belt. Craig Jones, this whole match has been pushing from the bottom position. Davi Ramos playing from the top of the middle go. Judges' decision. I feel it's perhaps the word of the night for a few matches, but yeah. frustrating is, I think, the way Craig Jones is going to see that one. Talk us through some of the replays, folks. Yeah, well, I mean, the match really was a battle of Craig Jones being in the Z guard, being in the seated guard, Davi trying to shut down his leg lock attempts. Uh, you know, we had, saw a few of these little dummy trips, these stupid trips, but the most significant portion was Craig coming off the bottom. Yeah. Trying to use that wrestling and uh, and then forcing the restart. Yeah, we saw a few of these uh, of these little trips, but there's no real commitment to it. You know, it's just a little bit off the back. You know, we saw one. The only time Davi really opened up was to try and jump over the guard into that armbar, and that's where we uh, where we saw really the most significant change of positions and transitions. Yeah. Uh, and then it kind of just went straight back into the same rhythm afterwards. Yeah, absolutely. This is that <laughs> stomp kick to the head. <laughs> Very effective way of uh, stripping those grips. Yeah, I think this is that jump over. He tried to this do the armbar. Craig tried to capitalize on it. And, you know, Davi just fighting as hard as he can to get to the feet. And, and you know, realistically, 
if, uh, if, if the mat was 10 times the size, you've got to imagine Dan's going to keep on going backwards yeah. until he gets onto his feet again. And, and, and then we had this little bit of a back and forth here. Yeah. You know, and, and, and you know, I mentioned it earlier, both of these guys are such high level competitors. They will, there'll be some people who go, you know what, it doesn't matter. They know how much it matters. Yeah. So just refusing to give that up at all. Yeah. You know, we can see referee yeah. Greg Krill talking to Davian. You know, it's one of those times where did it really make a difference in the match? You know, I don't think so. Okay, well, let's let's throw it over for the official decision. Over to Buddy. Ladies and gentlemen, this bout goes to distance 10 minutes and we go to your judges for the decision in this title contest. With all three judges seeing the bout the same, declaring your winner by unanimous decision. And still, 83.9 Polaris champion, Craig Jones. Way we'll let them keep uh, keep arguing. I'm here with our middleweight champion, Craig Jones. Uh, Craig, frustrating match perhaps for you, I think it's fair to say. Yeah, I think for you guys as well, we're a pretty fucking boring one tonight. <laughs> uh, you must have felt that that was potentially a possibility with his style versus your style uh, and uh, the necessity for him to need to engage for you to, to get underneath him. Yeah, for sure. I was hoping at some point he'd take some big risks. I really felt like he was based on his previous matches. You'd see in his previous matches, eventually he would jump for something wild. When he did, I got on top, but he won the argument for the first time in history against the referee. <laughs> you, can, uh, you could admit it to us in confidence, but were you really just upset you didn't get to showcase your wrestling? Uh, yeah, I mean, look at the guy, bro. I'm not going to wrestle with this monster. Eh? He's... <laughs> I didn't even want to reach for a color tie, become another <laughs> Lucas Lepre highlight reel. Uh, it's always fun having you, you here at Polaris. Uh, what's next for you moving forward? I don't know. I'd like to come back. I know initially we were talking about a 205-pound defense against Lovato. But Lovato was away in Nogi World, so I'd love to set that one up. Yeah, I mean, you know, you've defended the middleweight, what, middleweight belt once. You might as well do light heavyweight next. Yeah, for sure. I cut a lot of weight for this one. It was miserable. So, yeah, definitely 205 next time. Any final words for the folks at home and the, the crowd here in Southampton? Sorry for putting on a fucking boring match, guys. Ladies and gentlemen, your middleweight champion, Craig Jones. <laughs> Davi, quick, quick word with our runner-up, Davi Ramos. Uh, just give us your thoughts on, on that bout. Oh, the boy is uh, really... Um, he didn't impress me, you know, because I know everything what he want to do. But the boy is very good on that. And it was hard to, to catch in my position. So my strategy is doing something a little bit different than, than right there, but I couldn't do it. He doesn't have a very good uh, scramble and attack on the leg, you know. So I kind of try to defend on myself a little bit, and then I kind of attack. So I think I'm way a little bit, you know, to, to attack in him, man. So I finished a 10, 10, 10, 10 minute round. I didn't feel like me, ah, exhausted, you know. So I still, I still need to, to push a little bit more myself. And during my three fights in Jiu Jitsu now, and I, I couldn't put my uh, push on myself, you know? So it's a little bit hard, you know? All my focus on MMA is not in Jiu Jitsu, but I put myself in back in a bad situation and training more Jiu Jitsu now. And I'm a Jiu Jitsu guy, and sizing my, my couple, my, my last fight in the UFC, so I'm doing a lot of striking. I'm not a striking guy, I'm a Jiu Jitsu guy, and that's what I'm coming there for. And for a long time, I didn't train Jiu-Jitsu, but for now, I stopped a little bit to train on my, on my strike and then training back to Jiu-Jitsu, so. We appreciate you coming, competing for us here. Ladies and gentlemen, your runner-up, Davi Ramos. So that is it, guys. Um, really, really exciting matches tonight. Um, guys, what, what, what was your favorite? Woo! Wow, sorry. Just, uh... <laughs> I was going to say. Up from those interviews, 
look, so, look, uh, interesting night of bounce. There's a lot to talk about uh, as a result of those. And I think that, you know, Craig kind of summed it up there, you know, a frustrating bout for him. And he kind of acknowledges that that perhaps 